All right, guys, today I have an awesome thing to show you. And what I'm going to show you today, guys, is actually one play on defense that will go ahead and make it sure you never give up another point in solo battles. Now, you see the left side of the screen is when I first ran my defense, or ran my typical, you know, defense, and I didn't go ahead and use this certain play I'm about to show you. That's exactly what happened. I gave up 14 points and I gave up 10 points. Now on the right side of your screen, you are seeing when I did run that exact same play, every single play on defense, and the exact same results that happened. We have a 35-0 game and we have a 42-0 game. Comment today coming in from Gangland who says, Underrated YouTuber, keep grinding. I appreciate it very much. Also, like all for the video, guys. Come in some 75 likes. And finally, can we go ahead and answer the question of the day, which is going to be, what ranking did you get last week for solo battles? Did you get ultimate? Did you get elite? Did you get gold? Did you get top 100? I'd love to hear it down below. Now, again, I know someone's going to say, why are you showing this? This is going to go ahead and make it to the top 100 even more difficult to get. The reason why I'm showing this is because I know a lot of people have issues with solo battles. I showed players on offense not to go ahead and glitch the game. Because trust me guys, if you go ahead and do one play touchdowns, EA doesn't give you as much bonus points, right? So you want to go ahead and have these multiple long drives type of games in order to get more points toward, of course, your bonus points. Now, the thing is though, is again, a lot of people I know have this issue, and I've had this issue too, where it's like... The CPU can get very glitchy sometimes, okay? And you can give up a lot of touchdowns. They can score real quickly. And if you don't have that good of a team, you're going to have some issues. I have an 88 overall squad. So, yes, I'm able to go ahead and win 42 nothing, 35 nothing, right? But I'm going to show you in this video is I'm going to show you with my farm account, which is a 78 overall squad. And I'm going to show you me stopping the computer, doing the exact same concept I'm showing you in this video. But I'm going to show you multiple different drives of the same exact concept. Now we're going to go ahead and get right into everything guys. So starting off right away, I just want to go ahead and explain a little bit of what's going to go down. And I'm going to show you uh, my game right here, the 49ers game right here, where I won 42 nothing. I'm going to show you the stats of that game and everything that happened in the game, like just stat wise. And then we'll go ahead and get right into the play. So one second guys. Alright guys, so now getting right into the actual gameplay of things. All you're going to do is run one play. And the one play we're going to run for this whole entire video is going to be mid blitz mid blitz but we're going to show you exactly how to set it up how to do everything perfectly now this is actually my 42 to nothing game that i went ahead and just completed and i showed you guys in the intro clip of this game being done and of course you can see right here we're, we don't get too many crazy stats just because again most of the time the quarterback will be throwing the ball away or you know just in general not going ahead and getting any yards and you see right here running the ball passing the ball they aren't able to do much of anything so let's go ahead and switch over to a farm account. This is my farm account. I'm a 78 overall. Now, the reason why I did it on the farm account is I'm wanting to show you guys. You do not need to have an 88 overall squad to run this play effectively or do anything great with this play. I am literally running with a 78 overall squad versus 83 overall squad in solo battles. And you're going to see in this whole entire game that we do not give up any points. And then I'm going to go ahead and do another game for this video. And I'll show you the same concept. We're only going to be showing defensive drives. Obviously, because we don't need to show offensive drives. Now, I will tell you this, and I know I'm going to get this comment. I'm not going to be scoring points much in these games. I am almost on a farm account. It's not I can't score points. I want to show as many defensive drives as possible. So... If you see that I'm not going to score too many points in this game, that is why. So let's go ahead and start off right away. What we do is we go ahead and go to mid blitz, which is out of nickel 245. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and spread our defensive line. And we're going to guess pass. So that is literally all you do. Mid blitz, spread your defensive line, and then go ahead and hit left trigger and up on the right analog stick, which is going to go ahead and let you guess pass. And then finally, you want to use the player that is covering the running back so whoever's covering the running back whether that be a linebacker or safety or corner go ahead and use that guy and your job is to either a run right at the quarterback as fast as you can or b go ahead and cover that halfback on his route so for example right here it's a screen pass we're going to go ahead and he actually get some get some yards there but not many at all 
and that's all we're gonna do on these plays so now fourth and 16 they're gonna punt the ball next drive later same concept we go ahead and go to mid blitz we're going to spread our defensive line we're gonna guess pass so we're guessing that it will be a pass if it's a pass or run doesn't matter and then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and use the guy who is covering the running back on this play. We're going to go ahead and go follow him on his route or if he's blocking just run right at the quarterback and that's all we do again very simple play and i'll show you a million different times me doing this in this game so you guys understand and there's no you know confusion or anything like that now again i know someone's going to say why show this play not only this play great in solo battles because obviously in solo battles it is amazing to do this for example exactly you see right here this is actually also a great play to run in solo challenges if you're trying to get done mutt master if you're trying to win solo challenges not always do you have this you know 80 plus overall squad especially if you're just starting out so if you're just starting out madden or when you do just start out madden use this play against solo challenges and you will have wonders to do for you and you're gonna see right here at third and 18 same concept applies we're gonna do the same play every single play in this video we're gonna go mid blitz we're going ahead and uh what's called spread our defense the line we're gonna go ahead and use the guy whoever is covering the halfback and we're gonna guess pass and then we're gonna go ahead and get right to the quarterback and the awesome thing is if the halfback is not running a certain route then what you can go ahead and do is actually as you saw right there which i just went ahead and blitzed right at the quarterback and you can even get a guaranteed sack if you do go ahead and do that so now third down and 14 i actually messed up here i meant to record the plays before this but i didn't and you're gonna see right here there is 59 seconds left before halftime so they're probably just gonna run the ball anyway but it doesn't matter this play will work against the run it will work against the pass it doesn't matter what they call you will be able to shut down whatever they call and again they call a run and we're able to go ahead and shut that down very quickly now again we're going to show you one more drive in the chargers game versus the k's team and then we're going to go ahead and switch actually no sorry we're switching up right now to the second game now again i did not want to just show you one game of this walking i want to go ahead and show you a another game so in this video i showed you two uh games where i went ahead and won without allowing any points and then of course i'm showing you two gameplays of us allowing zero points in both gameplays so again guys hopefully this video did help you out i know you know i know this is like a the, the thing about solo battles and what i love about it is that it's not about cheesy plays even if you do run cheesy plays where you do not allow the uh, CPU to score any or you get a one play touchdown by, you know, manipulating the CPU, it doesn't go ahead and help you at all when it comes to the overall scheme of things. The point of solo battles is that you score as much points as humanly possible, but you also want to have as many long drives as humanly possible. So again, that's why right here, incomplete pass third and seven now i'm not sure if there is some kind of thing with this like if this goes ahead and gives you less points for solo battles i'm not sure because personally speaking i've gotten 24,000 points and i believe 23,000 points um in solo battles we're going ahead and running exact play and if i scored more points in either of those games i would have been able to get even more bonus points so i'm not sure if this is uh penalizes you in any way again if it does one i have another video out there on how to run a certain blitz to go ahead and shut down any solo battles team so this is just like if you really cannot stop the solo battles team and you want to allow zero points you're going to allow zero points in this video by going ahead and just doing this one play third down 11 here at the six yard line a great play to run by the way if you're in the red zone like if they're like you know in your goal uh, red zone area right here great play to run we get a safety just like that go ahead and get us the ball back and again in this video i kept punting the ball back to them that's why they're getting the ball back so quickly uh nonetheless though again jimmy g jimmy the actually that's not jimmy g that's Derek carr uh let's go ahead and spend on defense line let's go ahead and guess pass and user the guy covering the halfback and actually in this gameplay you're gonna see right here this will event sometimes happen and i wanted to go ahead and show this again i show every single play for that reason there will be times that you have a guy break six tackles like that right there and he'll get like 20 30 yards right and then the next play later you run mid blitz and you get a sack and they lose 30 yards and you're just sitting there like okay who cares it's not going to go ahead and infect me right so sometimes you will have fluky plays happen but most of the times like just like this where they got eight yards on the first run second uh, time they go ahead and get nothing 
Throwing down, they get nothing. You get the ball back. You're able to go ahead and score and get some more points on the board. That's the point of this play. Sometimes we'll have fluky plays, but not really much at all. And now the final clip for this video is going to be, again, another example. Yet another example of going and showing you guys how good this play is. This play is a glitchy play for that reason, but it's not a glitch. It's just not a glitch. It's simply just you're guessing pass, so the cornerbacks play the receivers better, and you're going ahead and just shutting down. Uh, you know, if you do blitz with the uh, safety of cornerback, you're just getting to the quarterback faster. You're going to get the sacks done from McMaster. You're going to get everything done. So let's go ahead and finish this off with these next two plays. Again, I wouldn't show you as I, I was kind of thinking if I show you every single play and tell me down below guys what's your thoughts and opinions on this do you like when I do stuff like this in the videos where I go ahead and show you as many plays as possible to show you that it does work and I 100% am confident that you would not give up any points in a game or do, would you rather me go ahead and not do it this way and just show you like one or two plays and make the video like five minutes long I love to hear it down below because I know both perspective some people love when i do this when i uh, you know make the videos extra long showing you as many plays as possible nonetheless guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next one peace out